a new item is going to be added to the chest in Identity 5, and we'll soon be able to invite even more people to our rooms. For more news like this, stick around for another episode of This Week in Identity 5. Welcome back guys to another episode. Let's get into talk about what we got last week because we got quite a lot and we got quite a lot coming up too. So last week we got of course the Deduction Star event that was probably the main event that happened last week where by logging in daily you'll be able to claim some Muse letters. These Muse letters can be used towards voting for your favorite characters for the Deduction Star skins that will be coming out I think the following this year and the next year. I can't remember who's winning at the moment but I'm pretty sure that the same kind of characters are winning on our server as they are in China so that's a problem because that means that instead of getting six skins we're only going to get three. Another way of getting newsletters is by completing battle quests so that will also give you extra votes. If you vote for your favorite survivors and hunters, uh, two survivors and one hunter will be chosen. And that will be the same two survivors and one hunter from our server and two survivors and one hunter from the other server, as long as the votes are different. And if you vote enough times, you'll be able to get a B rarity permanent unlock card and a couple of other rewards too. To help you be able to participate in this event and use any skins that you may have because you get an extra buff and bonus if you play deduction star skins, well, all characters are free until May 15th. As the new season is approaching, we also got the final push event that means that you'll be getting a 20% buff in all the points that you unlock to be able to get dice and so on, and your weekly limit will be raised by 20%. Too. Another event that happened last week was that we got the Kawa 5 Global Finals prediction event, where by predicting which teams win uh, and getting them correct, of course, you'll be able to receive some golden apples. But they gave us some extra rewards in the tournament shop, where now you'll be able to get an A accessory for first officer that is exclusive for Kawa 5, and also you'll be able to get some special dishes for the waiting lobby. And this is a new option that they've added, it's called the serving function, and it's a bit of a weird one, it just means that you'll be able to put food on the table when you're in the waiting room for a match. This is a little bit weird. You'll be able to share it with others. Very, very strange, I must say. Some other little things that they've added is that friend chat will now be synced between platforms. So now if you play on PC and on mobile, before you weren't able to see the chat from one of the other devices, uh, but now they've all been synced and all in general, all of your chat will be now saved into the cloud with uh, a 14 day limit and 500 messages limit as well. Of course, they also did lots of bug fixes and Clerk has had tons of bug fixes as usual because it's a new character. There are some issues that she's had and she came out a little bit buggy in my opinion, at least on PC. Let's talk about what's coming out this week. Season 21 is about to begin where it's possible that you can get the S tier skin for Professor that is the spring heated wine skin, an A tier skin for Dancer that is called Aromatherapy Sauna and an A tier skin for Wax Artist called Shower. These are all some very beautiful skins and I believe there might be a B tier skin for Nyad. This might be the, one of the first skins we've had for Nyad since her original release. So that is kind of exciting. With this new season and this S tier skin for Professor that is his limited one, we will also be getting the new character, Professor, and all of his buffs and nerfs that have occurred on the test server. I'm not completely sure exactly what if he's had any adjustments, but what we do know is that he doesn't have complete immunity to chip damage. That was something that everyone thought he originally had. No, he only gets one per match and that is fine. With the new season, we're getting the new Logic Path with the new Logic Path skin that was announced last week that is for Toy Merchant that comes along with her accessory. We're also getting a portrait and a portrait frame. I must say it is a very nice skin and it's nice to see that Toy Merchant is getting a little bit more love. She did get an A tier skin I believe at one point but apart from that she hasn't had too much love so it's good to be able to see that she's getting some love. We're also getting new rank treasures that's coming along with the reset of the rank reset. The accessories are an S tier accessory for Dream Witch, an A tier for Nyad and an A tier for Painter. They all have a green theme and I must say they are my least favorite accessories I've ever seen for rank. They are pretty terrible in my opinion. The Painter one, horrible. Nyad's one, just a recolor. Dream Witch's one is just a reuse of all the effects from Feaster's effects so they didn't really put too much effort into that and it's mostly just a recolor too. It does have a carry animation but the carry animation is pretty much the same as Ripper's so I'm a little bit kind of sad about this. They didn't do anything creative with it. Let's talk about what rumors and stuff we can expect from the future and we do have quite a lot of stuff that might be coming out. One of the rumors that has been kind of leaked from uh, data files is that they'll be adding some new characters to the crystal ball tarot mode. Yes, 
that mode that you guys have all forgotten about and nobody plays anymore. Or I think no one plays this anymore. Well, anyway, Disciple, Breaking Wheel, Psychologist, and Patient are rumored to be coming to this game mode, and their effects have been more or less kind of leaked. Disciple is going to be able to recharge her jumps a little bit faster, and I think as soon as she gets someone with the cat, they will have their abilities negated. It's not only when she activates the explosion of the cat. Breaking Wheel should have shorter cooldowns for his abilities, I think. Psychologist, I don't really understand what her change is, but I think it might give her more of a stress bubble or something like that. And Patient will be able to instantly activate his hook within a certain period of time of having already activated one, without it coming at any kind of cost. Barmaid is kind of giving a buff to the rest of the survivor teams now because there is some rumors and Nettie's has kind of confirmed it that Barmaid's wine or Barmaid's drink will be added to chests in each match. I am very worried about this and I do think the Barmaid needs to be adjusted because of this. I think her drinks need to have some more heavy negative effects on survivors if this is going to be put into boxes because this is much better than a syringe and I feel like this will just be a tiny bit unfair but I'm not completely sure how this will turn out. Some more adjustments to maps of course as well because of course chests are in maps. Uh, eventually we'll be getting some more map brightness adjustments because the last one that came along wasn't very good and even I have noticed by playing some mobiles since my PC version has been a little bit iffy recently uh, is that the maps are quite dark on mobile and I would agree with that. It would be nice if they managed to do some good adjustments where you'd be able to individually check the brightness for each map. One thing that I'm personally excited about, I'm not sure how much everybody else should be excited about, is that the global test server, that is a, the test server that is in China, is where they test all of the balancing and stuff like that. But it's very difficult for people like me to access it because it has like 300, 400 ping constantly. And you also have to get onto a waiting list and stuff like that. And it's not really good to be able to test things out if you're playing at such a disadvantage. Well, the, they are working on adding a global test server that will be accessible for us. Uh, and this is really exciting for future content for me and other, other content creators because we'll be able to do more coverage and more correct coverage on what is coming out soon. Something that I think is kind of cool and I wonder why they didn't add this before is that they are going to increase how many players can join you in your room lobbies. And this is really exciting. It doesn't mean that you can have tons of people in a match. No, no, no. I believe that you have to disband your uh, people that are in your room to be able to do so. But people can hang out in the same room and it depends on the tier of your room. If you have a C tier room, you can have six people invited. If you have a B tier room, you can have eight. If you have an A tier room, you can have 10. And if you have the S tier uh, room, you can have 12 people in your room. And that is very impressive, 12 people in one room. I feel like the frames are going to suffer, but let's see how that works out. Let's move on to the talk in the manner where I respond to your comments that you guys left on my recent videos. Baron Von Flop, the comments quite often on my videos, says, Phoenix, do you think that the magician buff will make him meta? I feel like he will be so much more better at kiting. This is something that I've discussed on my live streams when they originally they announced all of this and people have asked me every stream since and I also covered this over on Music Man's video. Uh, this is something that he did on his channel that we did a collaboration on but I do plan on putting um, my ideas from my streams that I talked about uh, those clips onto my Black Phoenix Plus channel so I do think that will be coming out sometime this week so make sure you guys go and check over that channel to make sure you go and see what I think about Magician's upcoming buff. Mr. Lingling says, hello, even though I quit Identity 5. I've seen a lot of people commenting recently that they've quit Identity 5 but are still watching Identity 5 content. Is there any reason? If you quit the game recently, please tell me down in the comments below because I want to know exactly why you guys are quitting. And if any of you guys are questioning what happened to that big post that I posted recently about uh, my issues with the game for over six months that I would send it to Netties, I did send it to Netties and they responded to me but they didn't understand what I was requesting so I sent them back something and then they never responded again. So I do plan on sending it back to them and reminding them I will probably send it both to my contact at Netties and also to the customer support to see if we can deal with something like that because so many people are having issues with opening the game right now. It's kind of crazy. Do you think that this new addition of the barmaid's drinks to chests is a good idea or a terrible idea or maybe it's just not going to do very much? Tell me down in the comments below and whilst you're down there remember to like and subscribe and also check out the Black Phoenix Plus channel to get other kind of updates and news exactly on the day of the patch note of exactly what came out on the day of the patch note over on that channel. Have an amazing day guys. Bye bye.